Hey Pixies! So today we're going to do a review and first impressions of Bombshell Nail and we're using Blue Moon. It is a blue dip that changes to white and glows in the dark. So it's got everything. And we're going to be using our Manny Boss dip liquids. Now if you're using dips that change color, you want to use the dip liquids because if you use gel with them, they may not change. So make sure that you're using the dip liquids if you want them to show their true change. So I am going to get started by applying the Manny Boss dip base and pouring that blue moon over my nail and then cleaning up the cuticle area and lightly tapping down on the powder because it's got little iridescent flakes in it. So I'm just tapping them down. Now for the second dip, I made a mistake. I did not tap them down and it's because I was thinking about the foil dips that I've used in the past. And whenever I use my stiff nail brush to dust the nail off, it usually breaks off any excess foil. And I was thinking that that would happen <laughs> with this one and it did not. So if you use this dip, make sure you're tapping it down after every single application because I do create a little bit extra buffing and filing for myself to make it smooth since on the second layer, I do not tap them down. Now, I will have everything linked down below for you and I will include a picture at the end of the glow and it just regular. So there will be the glow picture. They glowed beautifully. And this powder was really amazing to work with. It was nice and soft. It went on nice and smooth. But the only issue was my error in not tapping down the little flakes in it because they're more of a hard material than a foil. So my error, but I really enjoyed the powder and I have a few other colors from them that I purchased. So I will be probably using them in another video. I have um, one or two solids and some chunky glitters. So you'll probably see them again because I'd like to see how they perform since I kind of made the error with the flakes in this one. So after I was done pouring over for the first layer, I took my stiff nail brush and I dusted off the excess and now I'm applying that dip base and I am dipping my finger into the powder. And then I'm going to clean up the cuticle area and this is where you would immediately then tap down the flakes and make sure they're laying nice and flat, which is what I did not do. Now, if I were to use the only, my only issue with this powder, if I were to use it again, I would probably do one dip of a solid white under this one. And that is because it's supposed to change to white, but it really changes to more of a clearish color, if that makes sense, instead of a white. Now, whenever it's on your finger, it looks solid white, but whenever it actually changes after you have your top coat and everything on, mine was more of a clear color. So I would definitely do one dip of a white underneath it just so when it changed from the blue it would look more white than clear but i don't know if doing that extra dip under it would affect how it changes colors so that would be something i would have to mess with and you can see the little flakes sticking up i had such an issue because i didn't tap them down so i am going to go ahead and apply the dip base again and we are going to lay our finger in again. And it was because I was trying to get more of a solid white looking color. And I thought maybe if I did a third dip, it would help, but it does go on nice and thin because even with three dips, my nails weren't super chunky or anything. You know, I talk about that in like every video. So they weren't super chunky or anything. And I'm trying to get the flakes under control here, see what's going on. And <laughs> I'm kind of pulling off any pieces that are sticking up because this is when I realized that they're more of a hard material. So I decide here that we are going to pour over instead. So I'm applying the dip base and then I'm going to, for this third layer on the remaining fingers, pour the dip over. And then I'm going to mess with the flakies, try to get them to lay down. But like I said, the powder itself is really nice and I do have other ones. So I'd like to see how they perform. Ones that don't have the flake or anything in them. I have a solid nude color and then some glitters. So I'd like to see how they perform. I didn't have an issue with this because it was more my error with not tapping down the flakes, but 
it all works out in the end. It was smooth, it was nice and thin, even with three dips. And I really didn't have any issues. It glowed beautifully and it was easy to work with, minus my issue. So <laughs> I'm going to let you watch me finish up the dips and I'll be back in just a second. So I dusted my nails off with the stiff nail brush and now we're applying the activator and look at that beautiful blue that it changes to. I love it so much. So I am going to apply that and then I'm going to do my buffing, filing and reshaping off camera so that the video is not too long for you. And so here we are all buffed, filed and reshaped and I'm going to apply that second layer of activator and then we wait about a minute and we wipe off the excess with a lint-free wipe or a paper towel. I usually just use a paper towel. There I was showing you the color change because it's a little bit more white at the bottom and then bright blue. So we're just going to wipe off any excess activator and then we are going to top coat. So we're all done with that. We're going to get out our top coat. These are all the Manny Boss liquids. And I'm going to do two to three quick brush strokes per nail, wiping off my brush in between, putting it back into the bottle so that I don't contaminate my liquids or have my brush harden on me. Sometimes I forget. As you can see, I didn't do it on the last one, but <laughs> we're all human. I try to wipe it off in between and you should too. And once we're done with that, we're gonna wait about 30 seconds to one minute, and then we'll apply our second layer of top coat, which can be a lot more detailed. You don't have to go as fast with it, and we can cap our free ends and everything like that. So you can see the color change there. So you can see what I'm talking about, about how it's not like a true white, which is what I thought it was going to be. But overall, like I said, I'm happy with the powder. It applied nice and thin. I really enjoyed using it, and I'm excited to use the other dips that I have from them. I purchased everything with my own money, so I wanna see how the others perform, but this one overall was really good, and the iridescent flakes are really pretty in it. I couldn't really capture them in a picture very well because they are that iridescent, but there it is. The warmer color is at the bottom, which is supposed to be the white, and then the blue at the top. So I'm just going to apply my cutic oil while I do that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to see more content, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. I have new videos every Monday and Thursday. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or find me on Instagram at Dipping Pixie. I also have a TikTok, which is Dipping Pixie. That's it for this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.